Hello there, world of YouTube. It's Dan again. Um, I once again apologize. The videos are taking so goddamn long, but uh, YouTube is still sucking ass, and my internet here at college is still sucking even more ass. So I will get videos to you as soon as I physically can. It might be a little while. Um, it's still January when I'm recording these. I don't know when they'll be up by, but they'll be up sometime. Uh, in the meantime, I figured we'd continue the adventures of me in a zombie-infested world. One second. <laughs> Sorry, texting uh, S Jacob at the same time. Do 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 do. One more second. Sorry, it's taking so long. Da 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 da. Okay, we are back. This. Be me, Big McLodge Huge, Sergeant Capian, unfortunately Betty. Apparently Betty's the only one who... Ago, when I felt a burning sensation of love, but no longer. That burning in my loins has um, been replaced with a new burning. Strong. One second. First off, we need to take care of this. I don't know why he's talking so weirdly. Bless me. Day and night, and the only ointment to soothe the pain um. is revenge. Okay. Sergeant McCapey is gone insane. But like I was saying, apparently Betty is the only motherfucker who drives goddamn Big McLarge huge to the scene. So we're stuck with Betty again. She doesn't have a rocket launcher, so maybe I could put up with her. Maybe. But anyways, we were back. This war between the Saints and Syndicate is not unlike that between Sala and Marius. Our history repeats itself. We'd set a course for the outside world. There's a bridge. And if we can make it to the bridge, then maybe, just... Just maybe we can make it out alive. We can make it to the world outside of our little hellhole. Just maybe. We were off like a shot. Quickly noticed that there was a wall in the way. I had to find another way around, otherwise my companions would fucking shit themselves. Found the way, and the zombies started attacking. Prayed to God that Tiny wouldn't freak the fuck out again and try to kill me. But I knew I couldn't ask for much. Ah, oh God! They grabbed onto me, and shit just got real. God damn it, stop dying. Pissed off a police car, apparently. Don't know how that happened, considering there were no police. At all. Anywhere. I made it to the bridge and waited for my companions. Tiny was having some issues, so figured I'd let him take care of that. He seemed to have it all under control.
Tiny? 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 You coming? Hello? T yeah, there we go. Alright, I really think... I really think Sergeant McCaffrey has lost it. Alright, guys. Actually, we need a car, don't we? We need a car big enough to carry us all. So we had to go back onto the island. So we ran. I dove. They probably walked behind me and were very confused as fuck. That was not good. Just ran around spraying the goddamn streets with bullets. There were zombies everywhere, so it was okay. I usually hit things. But then sometimes I didn't. And in those cases, oh well. Oh god. One grabbed onto me. It was a crazy old lady zombie. Sergeant McCapey saved me, so I couldn't make too much fun of him for being completely fucking insane. I hoped we wouldn't run out of ammo before we got to the store. Oh god! Wondered where my companions were. What the fuck they were letting me get beat up for? Oh my boys in like this. You fight with the strings of Achilles. Nah, die zombies. Seriously, guys, guys, we gotta get moving. This this shit is not okay. Companions did their best to keep up. They sucked a lot of dick, so it was hard for them. Oh my god. Look how many people I'm killing. Oh god. Come on, companions. Let's go. Opened the door and entered the car shop. Quickly went down to the car that we could all ride in. And I paused. So I had another text message. Sorry, a few, few text messages. Just be a moment. I, I apologize for all the texting in this video. Okay. And we continued. But where was Tiny? There he was. Tiny got in the car and we were off. I noticed that I had blades in my wheels and I didn't quite know how that had happened. But it was awesome nonetheless. It's music on the radio. It's a good sign for things to come, I assumed. I had to be people to be music. Then I realized I was listening to my mixtape. And my heart dropped. But I didn't have time to think about all that shit. Hit the nitrous as we flew over the walls. When we got to the other side, I noticed there were more goddamn zombies. We put it in cruise control and we just went for a goddamn ride. Yeah. Oh God! 
Whoa, shit was happening and I didn't know how to stop it. I thought, where can we get to that's safe? Because I ran over a shit ton of zombies. <laughs> Took out some light posts, mostly because they were useless in a society of zombies. We just were driving. Driving like mad people. Had nowhere to go, had nowhere to be, had no idea what the fuck was going on. The car broke. And I freaked the fuck out again.